nighttime skincare right now, but welcome back to my channel if you don't know me, my name is Stephanie. We also have deer in the background playing 2K. And also, my eyes are super puffy right now because if you live in Georgia, then you know the pollen has been literally out of control. And I've been taking allergy medicine. It's not working. Like, my, my eyes are so puffy. My nose is messed up. My throat is messed up. Just a lot. But I wanted to share my nighttime skincare routine right now because um, I haven't really updated y'all on that. And I haven't posted on YouTube in like three weeks. But big milestone hit today. We hit 10K on TikTok. So if you don't follow my TikTok, definitely go follow it. It's always linked in my description and yeah, I've been wanting to hit that for a long time So super glad that I did that first of all. These are the two products. I use when I wash my face This is the elf uh, makeup balm or whatever it removes makeup and then the CeraVe hydrating face wash literally best thing ever and then also using my toner this is the good molecules niacinamide brightening toner i use this every day besides wednesdays and sundays and that is when i use polish choice exfoliating toner but i wanted to film a little vlog for you guys because i honestly felt really uninspired Last week, I was in a little bit of a funk. Like, I literally had the hardest time getting up and doing things. I didn't go to the gym all last week. And I had been super consistent in the gym so far this year. I don't want to slip into a funk. So, I'm getting back in that. I went to the gym today. It was a good workout. did legs. And then tomorrow, I'm doing arms. I also have just a very busy week coming up because of school and stuff like that. I have two group projects that just a lot going on with that. I have a lot of content to film. I really want to be on a super strict schedule with YouTube and TikTok. And I feel like I was with YouTube. You know, there are times where you get a little bit burnt out from like everything going on and you take a little break. So I think that's what I was doing. But I just used the snail mucin from Costa Rex. This is literally like my third bottle of this stuff. It's so good. Like it leaves your skin so glowy. I cannot get over how puffy my eyes are right now. My eyes are the worst symptom that I have. For allergies they get so ridiculously itchy but next i'm using the good molecules hyaluronic acid serum this is my second bottle i want to say of this really good um, hydrating i have dry skin so super important to use hydrating ingredients for me i'm also really tired i couldn't tell if it was my allergies or me getting a little bit sick i think it might have been a little bit of both i don't like i don't want to say i'm getting sick because i don't think i'm getting sick i think it's just really bad allergies next sticking on the good molecules train we're doing the good molecules discoloration correction serum just putting this everywhere i know you're not supposed to touch the thing with your um on your face but i i always do so today i had class i went to class surprisingly i've been going to class the past two weeks because one of my professors decided to start taking attendance in the middle of the semester he wasn't before and it's a hybrid class so i only have it once a week so i was like i don't really want to go plus I can literally do everything online from home. So I was choosing to not really go, but um, then he started taking attendance, so I have to go on Mondays. Next, using the Tretinone Cream, I get this prescribed to me from the dermatologist, just a little bit. And my other class is on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the evening around 6.30. And that class, I just need to go because attendance isn't technically required, but it boosts your grade, so... I would definitely need that. It's my finance class. Really hard. I could do it from home. Like, I didn't really go to class the first few classes, honestly. Taught myself everything at home and ended up getting like a C on the first test, which is really good for finance. Next, I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Cream Fragrance Free. Literally my favorite moisturizer currently. I tried using the Pond one also recently, but... I don't really like it, so I'm just using this one. I usually like smother my face in this because dry skin girly over here. Also, y'all, I was considering something, so basically, which I actually decided against it today just because I'll explain. I was debating getting a serving job right now, like a server job or a receptionist position or something of that sort because I really need to save up money for... Um, me and Dare's new apartment and just for trips that I want to take over the summer with friends so I was debating doing that however I have to take an internship this summer the internship would start around May like late May or early June and it's the end of March right now so April May that's when I would have this new job but I didn't really see a point in getting a new job right now because I'd only be there for two months because my internship position would be full-time over the summer every day nine to five besides the weekends obviously and I know I'm gonna be already like super burnt out from my internship working that much I'm not gonna want to work on weekends so I definitely want that time for myself. Also, I'm using the Therese and Honor 
enhancing eyelash and eyebrow serum this is actually really good i've noticed a difference with it i got it off of amazon but they have it on tiktok shop anyway i was debating getting a job but i feel like it wouldn't really make sense for the timing of it all so i was just gonna do like maybe door dashing for just a little bit um just to have some sort of income to put to the side for the new apartment and for traveling and stuff and i feel like that makes more sense for me personally just because I could do it on my own time. I could do it during the summer if I wanted to, like on the weekends if I want to, like I won't be scheduled to do it for sure. But it was just something I was considering. Um, but I definitely do want to get a job eventually. I just don't think right now would be the best timing. Like it would help obviously, but I don't know. I hope that makes sense. Lastly, using the Laneige Gummy Bear. Um chapstick i actually don't really like this that much because i low-key feel like it dries out my lips even more i'm out of my aquaphor right now so that's all i got that is my current nighttime skincare routine i just wanted to share that with you guys in case anyone was wondering what i've been using lately but i'm glad to be talking back with you guys i literally haven't posted in forever so i wanted to go ahead and do a quick little vlog for you guys and update you on my life what's going on with me but i am about to go to sleep it's almost one in the morning right now so i'm super tired my allergies also make me feel like i'm tired and i'm also like a week away from my period so <laughs> it's a lot like i'm just very tired anyways also i watched the last episode of the bachelor what do y'all think i wish maria was the new bachelor i think they would have gotten a lot more views if they had chosen her as the bachelor as a bachelorette sorry i will see you guys tomorrow um love you guys and talk to you tomorrow it's date night we're going to see a movie we're going to the restaurant called the cape at um avalon and alpharetta if anyone lives in georgia it's our first time eating there and i'm treating him to dinner because he always pays for my food but yeah we're going to the restaurant for then we're going to see the movie at 7 20. um we're supposed to get to the restaurant around 6 30 it's just 6 20 right now so we have about like kind of like an hour to eat and stuff so i'm super excited the movie i've heard is really really good so hopefully it actually is really good and also hopefully y'all can hear me because i just had the window open which was kind of dumb i didn't realize that but it's it's a lot later from the last time i recorded i recorded this morning whenever i had just woken up but i ended up just going to the gym at the apartment and then um went to my brother's apartment to pick something up and then i also stopped by cvs to get some allergy medicine because the allergies have been tearing me up i think i explained that to you guys last night but a lot they've been doing a lot Wow, that's so rude. Anyways, I got these eye drops. They're the Zadiator Sustain eye drops. I used these last year and they worked pretty well, so I got them again. And I also got this new nasal spray that I'm gonna try out tomorrow. He actually used it earlier. Do you think it has helped you at all? Has it actually? Really? Yeah, what a scam. He's kind of scared of nasal sprays though. How am I scared of nasal sprays? Cause you're spray? like, oh no, I don't wanna do it. You never wanna do it. I just didn't it. wanna do it. Well, you did it and now you're helped welcome but anyways i'm gonna show you guys the food that we get because i'm super excited we never had it before and i'm really hungry i've only had like duncan today so i'm super hungry this is the theater right here we're trying to find the restaurant right now avalon has always been so pretty i love avalon i actually really want to live here for some reason i know it's just so expensive these all right here are apartments I would, I would live here and i would commute to work yeah and then the cape is all the way down there they have a little lemon chanel y'all remember vineyard vines athleta Banana Republic. Just a little tour. This is the restaurant we're going to. I'm really excited. It smells really good. <laughs> Here's the menu. I definitely want to try the crab dip that they have right there. And then these are all the other stuff. The shrimp tacos look really good. And then the drinks are on the back. So Deer got the whiskey sour and I got the frosé, which is like a frozen rosé drink. Cheers. Good. Ooh, that's really good. This is the crab that we just got. Do a little taste test. Oh my gosh. So good. So we actually both ended up getting the halibut. It looks so good and it smells so good. And then we also got some fries. Do a little taste test of the halibut. We're literally going to be late to the movie. It's almost 7.20 right now. The movie starts at 7.20. Nine fifty. Instead of recording. Hot, but so good. All right, y'all. So we just left the Cape. I gave it a 10 out of 10, honestly. Yeah, it was really Drinks good. were really good. The entree, we got the crab dip, amazing. The chips were super flaky and just like the perfect amount of crust. 
And then we both got the halibut. What do you rate the halibut? The halibut was actually really good. It was really good. I think they could have seasoned it a little bit more, but they I think we're I think we're both used to a lot of seasoning though. Yeah, fish over seasoning though is not that good though. And then we also did the fries, the garlic fries, so good with like an aioli sauce on the side. Really, really good. I think that's actually all we got, but overall, literally 10 out of 10, other than the halibut. The halibut also came with like this curry sauce and coconut rice with this broccolini. So good. I sound like an actual food reviewer right now. We have some leftovers here. We kind of have a rush, but it's now 7.28 right now. So we're going to miss the trailers, which is fine. But other than that, we're excited to see this movie. I'm going to review the movie afterwards too because I'm super excited. I have really high expectations. What do you think? No, I think it'll be good. Not really. I didn't see any trailers, so I don't really know. So this is a blind movie for you? Um, yeah, just kind of. Yeah, well, it's not really blind for me. I didn't actually watch the full trailer. Except maybe a long time ago, which I have a terrible memory, so I don't even remember what the trailer is. I just saw other people's reviews, and they said it's really good, but it's, like, messed up. So, we'll see, because my most messed up movie that I've seen is probably Men. What about you? Oh, they said it's messed up. Yeah, like, messed up like that. Like, how, uh, what's that movie? Mid Midsummer. Oh, Midsummer. I feel like it's gonna be messed up, like, in that context. And everyone's saying the Sydney Sweeney did an amazing job, but let's go find out and see. Y'all are literally sitting in my spices cabinet right now because I don't have a little tripod for you this high up, but I have a career fair at school today and I had to put together a kind of business casual outfit. I don't have a lot to work with, but I have this skims top on. This jacket is from Pretty Little Thing. I have some business like high water slacks on with um, some flats. And I'm gonna wear a little black purse with it as well, but I'm a little bit nervous because I wanted to print out my resume for this, but my resume is not, it's two pages and I wanna make it one page and I also don't have anything to hold them in. So I'm just gonna go talk to people and I have to go because my class requires it. That's the reason why I'm going, but it's probably better for me to go in the first place anyways. Also, I wanted to give an update on the movie, how we liked it last night. It was actually so good, like really, really good. It was like thought provoking, but it wasn't scary as in I had ghosts and stuff. In it. it was scary as in like i don't know just like weird it was messed up but it was really good so definitely recommend seeing it if you're into scary movies or horror movies gory whatever i usually don't like gory movies but this one was fine with me anyway it is currently 12 o'clock i woke up at 10 30 but it took me so long to get ready because i couldn't find my freaking like these pants i couldn't find the other shoe that i'm wearing i didn't know what outfit to, to decide on i had a whole different outfit on earlier but i just started on this one because it looks more professional to me so i had to head out and see what happens i'm nervous but i would take you guys in there but i feel like it's gonna be too many people in there and i don't want to just like have a camera in everyone's faces so i might record on my phone and insert some clips from there but other than that i'm about to head out and go and then after i'm done with that i'm gonna come back here change go to the gym then come back home start working on my projects that i have maybe update my resume and stuff but that's pretty much all that i have going on right now but yeah wish me luck at this career fair because i'm hoping to find maybe an internship here or like network with people or something so yeah I gotta go. So it is now a lot later. I've had such a busy day and now we're being rewarded with Chipotle because I'm hungry. So basically after I got home, I was doing a lot. I read my resume. I applied to different internships. I filmed for a pretty little thing because if y'all know I'm a student ambassador for them. I am working on some other stuff. School mainly but some other stuff as well. Yeah I'm also starting this new Netflix show called I don't even know what it's called but it's like some it's some like doctor show on Netflix. It's not Grey's Anatomy, it's something else. I got their little vinaigrette dressing because I've never tried it, so I just want to take a little dip of it. It was just free to add on. I got chips and queso, of course, but. Mmm. That was really good. Anyways, I just got a chicken bowl, rice, beans, cheese, corn salsa, lettuce. Yeah, that's pretty much my day how it's been at a glance. I should have filmed more, but I honestly was staring at my computer screen for most of the day. That's where I was getting a lot of my work done. Yeah, and I didn't go to the gym today. I just, we're not gonna talk about that. I didn't go to the gym. That's all, that's all. We'll go tomorrow. Plus I usually go most days anyway. All right, let's do a little taste test. I got the chicken al pastor. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. One thing about me, I always dance whenever I get food. Like I get so happy. Got some queso. This is like a little mukbang. I think Chipotle might have the best queso ever. But I'm just going to continue to eat this for a little bit. And then after I finish eating, I'm going to take a shower and clean up. Because I made a huge mess in the apartment from just doing a bunch of stuff and filming and whatever. But um, yeah, I will talk to you guys a little bit later.
So it's really late in the day and I have been struggling with my cramps like all last night and today. But I need to get up and be a little bit productive. I um, was working on some school stuff earlier. That's about all the productiveness that I've gotten done. Um, But I really need to get my toes done because I'm wearing this cute dress on Sunday for Easter. And I'm wearing sandals with it and I don't have any polish on my toes right now. And I hate do my own toes and i also really want that little massage they give you at the nail salon so i'm going there i've also been super emotional obviously because my freaking period it's probably so tmi that i'm so open with you guys about my period but <laughs> i feel like it it like has so much effect on my emotions and i i forget about it until it happens and also i look like i've been crying but it's my allergy i promise i took my allergy medicine nas nasocort and Alle allergy eye drops sustain zadiator I need to take more but like look how freaking my eyes are so puffy right now my face is puffy i'm just i'm puffy okay but yeah i'm about to go to the nail salon after i do my skincare because my skin is so dry right now i don't know why i just took my hair out honestly also i really want duncan this is so bad for my hair don't do this but i really want duncan or like some treat or something so i'm probably gonna go there as well also yesterday i literally started filming my day like it was gonna be more productive than it was and i literally barely filmed anything i don't know if i'm gonna include that in this vlog or something but maybe i will i don't know ew my hair i might put it in a clip instead i don't know anyways yeah i'm about to just do my skincare and i hate this angle whatever on days where i feel super emotional i just want to lay in bed with the air like all day and he works all the time anyways literally my freaking face i cannot with the puffiness it's my allergies are so bad. Every single year, they're just really bad. I'm emotional. I'm very stressed right now just because of a bunch of different things. Like, first of all, one of the main things I'm stressed about is this project I have for school. We have to tour this, like, place for my one of my classes. And we were supposed to have toured by today, I think. But the project is not due until the end of April. I'm confused. I emailed my professor. He didn't clarify if we had to tour by today or by the end of the project. At this point, it's going to have to be by the end of the project because we don't have time to tour anymore. I'm also kind of stressed about money but who is not stressed about money at all times i'm just always stressed about it always stressed about getting more i'm stressed about my internship i've been applying non-stop to internships um thinking about getting another job if i don't get an internship because my thing i forgot if i i think i did tell you guys but i was just stressed about if i should get a job right now because if i start an internship in like one or two months then what's the point of getting a job right now because some internships that i've been applying for start in the middle of may so it would make sense for me to get a job right now i also tried to reactivate my instacart account didn't work i don't think it's going to work so i'm gonna have to do something else just to make a little bit of side money probably doordash or something i tried to apply for like amazon flex and like spark driver for walmart and stuff and they don't really have those in my area so we've limited options another thing stressing me out like with the money is like i have a lot of trips that i want to go on this summer a lot of them want to book like soon and i don't have a form of income so that's stressing me out as well i think it's more about the timing of booking it i'm also stressed out because i had a really strict routine it came to working out and like my diet and everything and i struggle so much with that with diet and exercise i enjoy exercising and stuff i enjoy working out but with the diet part of it it makes me i don't know like i go back and forth like i try to do a calorie deficit which is lowering the amount you eat not in a concerning way but just you know being more aware of what you're eating and how much you're eating like eating in moderation or whatever and sometimes i just have a harder time doing that than other times like i want to enjoy food when i want to enjoy it not when it fits into the amount of food i can eat in the day does that make sense that's like where i struggle with a little bit i miss the days when i was younger when like i literally didn't even have to try to monitor what i eat when i was in high school i just made a tiktok about this too when i was in high school i literally didn't even have to i'm putting on lotion by the way i didn't have to keep track of what i was eating i was just naturally thin that's because of the sports i did and everything it kept me very thin kept me very much in shape but now i'm not running several miles a day obviously and i'm not a teenager so it's definitely something that i struggle with and i definitely find pleasure in food and i mean i'm pretty sure a lot of people do i love food as a lot of people do like i just said but yeah it's just something i struggle with from time to time i also am gonna wash my hair maybe today or tomorrow i also want to try to go and get this done right now while my cramps are not murdering me from the inside out i took medicine and they are not hurting me right now that's why i'm going right now yeah for plans today don't really have any to be honest besides what i've been doing the past few days which is school internships and just other stuff that i've been trying to work on which is like pretty much just learning more about social media and i guess the algorithm i don't know 
learning more on how I can monetize on there and make it more of a business for me. Not that I'm doing it because of the money, but like there's a way I could monetize on it. We're all broke looking for, you know, a little extra cash here and there. So why not learn more about how I can do that in the future? I've been kind of taking steps on doing that a little bit. More so on TikTok, not really on YouTube. Okay, my hair is done. I feel like I look better than I did when I first talked to you guys on here. But I'm gonna put on like a hoodie or something. Oh my gosh, I just realized I have to get more tampons. <laughs> I'm literally out. Oh no. Let's see how many we have left. Oh, we have three left. Well, I definitely still need to get some more, but I'm gonna change and then we're gonna go get my toes done. Bed is not made, but it's okay. Don't look at my toes. This is where I keep my selection of bags that I wear. I've been transitioning into more of a womanly bag lately instead of my long um, sack that I usually bring around. Doing this, this one today. It matches my shoes. Hey, can I get a medium um, iced cappuccino with two um, butter pecan swirls, please? And then can I also do plain bagel with uh, plain cream cheese, please? Toasted, and that'll be all. Thank you. Thank you. This is my first time having a cappuccino. <laughs> It's really good. Thank you. I'm going to get my toes done. You just decided to do that route. Consulting me. Yep. You're supposed to tell me before you do these things. Sorry, Dad. Don't be sorry. Just don't do it again. Say hi, vlog. Hey, vlog. So, do you want to go to Target later? <sighs> For what? Just, just to browse. Yes, I do. Okay, I know this is not the most flattering angle ever. My camera, like, I don't ever know where to put it in the car because there's not really a place to put it. I guess right here is fine, but I'm scared it might fall. This is really good. If y'all need a good drink from Dunkin'. Ooh, ooh, that's, I just drank some of those straight up syrup. An iced cappuccino with two butter pecan swirls is really good. But I'm about to eat this bagel real quick before I go inside. I'm literally sweating so much right now. Mmm. Perfect. I've been in a bagel mood recently. I had one yesterday too. I'll see y'all inside. I got some packages from Amazon. I was kind of freaking out at the nail salon because I thought that they were not going to do the little massage that I specifically went there to enjoy. It's just the basic one they do in their basic little package. That's the one I usually get. They did it, but it was at the very end. So I was like confused, but yeah, they ended up doing it. Okay, so the first thing I got were some heated socks because my feet get so cold sometimes to the point where sometimes I'll fill the bathtub up like this much with warm water and just sit on the side and have my feet in there and I'm tired of doing it. So I just got some heated socks for that one purpose. My feet get so cold sometimes. These are gonna come in handy very much, very much. Okay, next are just two things. So this first one is a little iPad stand for my iPad, obviously. And I see this girl on TikTok. She's one of those, like, those twins. That's one of those workout twins, light skin ones. And she has one, and I've been wanting one for so long. So I got it. Your iPad just sits on here, and I could use it, like, when I'm cooking, if I need to look at a recipe, or, like, I don't know. I just think this is going to come in handy for me. I'm going to use this a lot, I feel like. Lastly is the dress I got for Easter. If y'all have not gotten clothes from Amazon before, you're sleeping on Amazon clothes, because some of their clothes are actually so cute. But it's like this little knit maxi bodycon dress and it doesn't have any sleeves so it just goes like this and I have a little cardigan I'm gonna wear on top of it and then I was just gonna wear the sandals I have I thought like the baby blue was perfect for Easter and I think it's super cute so I'm really excited to wear this on Easter dye some little eggies go to church so that's pretty much all that I got and I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit I have to turn something in for school so I'm gonna do that really fast and we will see where the rest of the day takes us Hey y'all, so as you guys just saw, we went to go get food, we got lunch, we got ramen at this place called Oki Burrow, I believe, and it is in Sandy Springs, Georgia, if you are wondering where it was at. I have a full vlog of it on my TikTok, so I'm gonna link that in the description box below if you wanted to go watch and see what we got and stuff, but it is currently a mess in the apartment right now, and Dear just went to work. Oh, I forgot to say, we also went to see a movie after that with some friends. We saw Godzilla vs. Kong, The New Empire. Literally, 10 out of 10 movie. I wasn't expecting it to be that good, but it was so freaking good. Anyways, this is what we're working with all the laundry everywhere there's trash over here bedroom is a huge mess so today's gonna be a saturday reset just because tomorrow we're not gonna be home pretty much most of the day um tomorrow is easter and dear's little brother is in town right now from the military so we're hanging out with him and stuff like that so I'm gonna be doing a little reset today so i need to go to target and pick up a face mask i need to get some more tampons and that's pretty much all i need to get but i definitely need to go to the store and grab those things i'm doing my hair today i have a new hair mask i want to do i actually need to get some more gel for my hair as well so i might get that too but yeah that's pretty much the rest of the plans 
outfits for the day. I want to go ahead and go get the stuff right now so that I don't have to go later on. Yeah, in order of events, we're going to come home after we go out there, clean, run some laundry. <laughs> Anyway, and then after everything is cleaned up out here and in the room, I'm going to wash my hair. Yeah, that's pretty much the plan. Also, whenever Deer gets back home from work, I think we're going to watch another Godzilla movie, which came out last year, apparently, that we didn't hear about. And everyone's saying it's the best Godzilla movie ever. So we're going to watch that tonight. And that's pretty much the plan for the rest of the day. But I've had a really great Saturday so far. I'm just upset because Deer has to work. We could have had like a longer, better day together, but it's okay. So let's go to Target. Oliver, hi. in a Target. I was so scared, but this Target is more empty, so I don't really care. It smells like too much. Fruit punch something too much, though. Mm, it smells really good, but it's $17. Usually I stick to the Target brand candles because they're only $10, and they last a good amount of time. This one is really good. It's one of my favorites. I want to try something new, though, kind of. This one smells good, but it's a little bit too vibrant for me. I like a more, like, mellowed out scent. It smells like medicine. This one smells good too, but it's too floral. I just feel like I always get the same ones every single time I'm here. I got this one last time. I'm like tempted to just stay with Cozy Nights, which is the one I usually get. This one or Mango Coconut, the OG. I'm just gonna go with this one. This one literally is a classic.